Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today, we're checking out Ganze Rorikstead Manor. Sorry if I butchered that name. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Rorikstead Manor. Here's Rorikstead. Here's Morthal. And here's Rorikstead Manor. There's Rorikstead on the left of your screen. And then here's the manor in comparison. Let's go ahead and get down to ground level and enter this gate. Alright, as we enter this gate, remember to shut it. I did it the first time I attempted to record this and a wolf came in and ate all the chickens. So make sure you shut the gate. Okay, we are going to take note of this water well. And then when I was looking at this, I noticed a lot of bees in the area. So I turned around and I saw two apiaries by the gate. And there are a lot of bees and butterflies on the property. Over here, you have an outhouse with some toilet paper nailed to the door. And then over here, you have a house for the groundskeeper. It's pretty basic, but we'll go ahead and check it out. Okay, over here he has a little kitchen sink with some salt and pepper on his table. If it seems a little dark, the mod author said in the description for the mod they're working on a patch for Lux and ELFX, and I use Lux, so it looks like the lighting might be a little off right now. When we get into the main part of the house, I'll use a travel lantern, and you might think it looks a little bit bright, but I'm just trying to compensate a little bit. Okay, let's check out the rest of the grounds. Over here you have a little farm area with some gourds planted and some leeks, carrots, potatoes, and cabbages. And overseeing it you have the scarecrow. Keep doing the good work, sir. Look at all of those butterflies and bees flying around. And then here's a view of the front door. Look at those torches, those beautiful aspen trees. You also have some benches on the walkway up. Over here are the chickens that the wolves got to when I left the gate open. This time I was smarter. And then where there are chickens, there are eggs. So you've got one there, and then you've got another nest over here. Hey, little guy. Okay, and the last area outside to show you is the stable. It does come with this horse. And here's the gate. And then I was curious to see what was up here, so I looked. And it's just a little room of boxes. Not for storage or anything, just kind of for looks. Okay, let's head inside and see what that looks like. Love the ivy to the left. When you enter the manor, if you go straight, you go to a kitchen slash dining area, and then that way leads you to the basement. And the left leads you upstairs. We're going to start by checking out the kitchen and dining on what's called the ground level. To the left is your kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and turn my travel lantern on now so you guys get a little better lighting. There we go. Look at the cool looking stove with the open flame. Here is your bar area. This sink has running water. I really like the wallpaper they use. And here's a laundry area. You can tell by the washboard. Butter churner. Nice painting. There's a cozy fireplace with a painting above it and a couple of statues.
Here's a corner reading nook. And now we're going to take a right and head upstairs. Okay, this area looks like it has some display cases with some weapons racks inside. I've never seen it done that way before. You also have a couple of bookcases, a bust of the gray fox. And then you have a hallway. This first door leads to a bathroom with a hot tub. And then if you turn this, you get a little shower slash waterfall effect. Pretty cool. Now we're going to head outside to the balcony. Mm, look at that aspen tree. This would be your Rorik's dead side over here. Okay, now we're going to go to a follower's quarters area. You have six beds in here. The mod author also said he's trying to make a patch so that you can have children move in. He's always working on the lighting patches and the children patches. Next, we're headed up to the attic, and that's where the magic happens. We've got some cool alchemy posters on the wall. To your right, you have 12 soils. And then you have this neat little uh, display in the middle with this raven statue on it. In this room, you have another six beds for your followers. I'm not sure which one he's going to patch for the children, if it's this one or the other one. Looks like your followers might be studying alchemy too. Nice static decor. And then over here, you have your alchemy table. And then you also have some random potions in these cabinets below it. Awesome arcane enchanter. You also have some random items in these cabinets too, of interest. And then through this door is your master bedroom. And then by this display, I noticed this little button down here. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it does. I think it has something to do with the lighting changes, but I can't quite figure it out. Maybe is it, is it the color of the flooring, maybe? Comment if you can figure it out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and skip to the basement. Just know that I ran down and pulled each of the knobs to get there. Okay, now we're in the basement and you have plenty of these chests to store things in. And then this is a unique model for your workbench.
In the corner is your smelter. And then over here you have some random ingots. And a torture device. Every good basement needs one of those, right? And then you have a jail with some bedrolls down here. So I think you can kind of tell what this area might be for. And then I was looking for a forge and I couldn't exactly find one, but I did find this. Yeah. So of course I had to check this other one too. But that one's a fire. All right, that about does it for the basement. This concludes our tour of Rorikstead Manor. If you enjoyed the tour, click the like button. To see more of my home tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future work, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.